Hello everybody, it's that college football guy here with another video. Um, <laughs> yeah. Nothing new on what happened after yesterday. Everything is fine on that aspect, so we're all good. But uh, this is an idea, another subscriber video idea. This comes from Damascus Luton. His uh, idea, a little bit different. I will freely admit, it's a little bit different. Um, his principle was he didn't like the idea of Army and Navy being in the same conference. Now, if you actually looked at TV viewership, Navy pulls heavy viewers. I mean, they're up there with Power 5 schools in terms of viewership every year they're and the average per game. And, of course, that playing Notre Dame every year helps their average. Army's no slouch either. So, but he felt that Navy, excuse me, aren't Navy, Army should be in the same conference as Navy. So, his proposal, his idea, and I want you guys to take a look at this and tell me what you think, was Army, instead of joining the American, would join the MAC, and they would bring in Villanova. to add as a travel partner for Buffalo, who's on the East. Um, Villanova, first off, football program's FCS, so this would be a move up to FBS level. Program going from FCS to FBS is a Conference USA move. I hate to say that, but that's basically what it is. Um, so, them doing that, I that's, that's on there. I mean, let's go through the, what the MAC currently is. You have Akron, Ball State, Bowling Green, Buffalo, Central Michigan, Eastern Michigan, Kent State, Miami of Ohio, Northern Illinois, Ohio, Toledo, and Western Michigan. UMass coming in in 2025 will make 13. Army coming in will be 14. Villanova would be 15. Still an odd number. Um, would Army fit? Oh, it's Indiana. So it's... It's right in the wheelhouse of where everything is at. Philadelphia, Philadelphia, so Army would fit. In that aspect, geographically, it makes sense. Financially, it makes none. Army, through in, through being an independent, can make, I think they said it was three, three and a half million a year as an independent. Um, not a lot of money, but at least it's something. Uh, the MAC makes less than that. So they basically would be taking a pay cut to do it. The whole reason why they joined the American and were drag kicking and screaming, they didn't want to be in a conference anyway. They wanted to be independent was because the American was making $7 million a year. They're getting 50%, three and a half. Okay, fine. Over the next whatever X number of years, they're going to come up and be a full share member being $7 million a year. So the school, the university, the school, West Point would make more money. Um... And it's the Army Navy game and the American. And I think Navy politicked hard for this. <laughs> uh, Army did not want to do this at all. Um, they didn't want to join a conference. So saying instead of joining, I mean, like I said, geographically makes a ton of sense. I mean, because it's Indiana. And it, everything, everything that way would fit. Villanova. If Villanova is going to go somewhere, yeah, I, the rocking around. I'm in a yard in Nashville here in Tennessee, and the wind is picking up, so this truck is rocking. So, um, Villanova coming up would be good if you're doing basketball, but the Mac doesn't do basketball. So it's okay. What would be on the eastern flank? A football ad. Remember, you have UMass. So they're going to do this. They're going to do even numbers. The MAC doesn't want to have unbalanced, and they're going to do divisions. So having Army in the, in the in it makes sense because that goes to the West. You'd have to have, and you'd have UMass to the East. So that would balance those two. Villanova would be East. You'd have to throw somebody West. Um... And it's like, not a lot of options. 
I mean, if they if they got Western Kentucky from Conference USA, I mean, that would be a Western school because of where Western Kentucky is. Um, but it kind of puts them in a position like the MAC having odd number schools. They've done it before, but I get the feeling this time around they kind of want to match things up. And there are a lot of FCS schools knowing that they want to get in a conference before this all is said and done. Um, even though everybody's talking about how UConn could join a conference. UConn, I don't think, is joining a conference unless it's the ACC. Even the ACC watered down their join. I mean, everybody on here is saying the American will welcome the schools from the, a- a- the ACC. I'm, I'm, I'm... Chris and I, you know, <laughs> Sadowski, he and I had a, we were talking on Numbskull News' uh, channel on a comment. Comment. I commented on his comment. Check out Numbskull News. He's got a damn good channel. Um, hope you have a thick skin. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. He does damn good stuff. Um, but ACC is not going away. Everybody said yes, they are. North Carolina. This is a side tangent, real quick. But I gotta, I gotta say this. North Carolina isn't going away. Is going to leave yet? Is he going to make a move until the Florida State and Clemson lawsuits are settled? And ESPN and A will encourage the ACC to schedule those probably around late July or middle of August, after the window for the eight school for having eight or nine schools in order to uh, dissolve the conference. Stanford, Cal, and SMU be members. Now it's going to be more members to get in, more members you'd have to pull, convince to do that. And rumor going around, Florida State and Clemson may only get a half share and have to earn their way up to a full share. You think ESPN's going to pay for a full share for a bunch of schools in the Big 12? They're not. So, Mac, having, I'm trying to think of Mac Eastern schools, Western schools, like Western Kentucky would make sense if they were already there. Having Army, if Army had not joined the MAC, and you didn't bring in Villanova at all, and you thought about Army going to the west side, that actually makes sense because it's Indiana. It's right in the footprint. It fits. But there's not many schools west that would make sense for this. And it's talking about FBS. Would they go FCS? Would they go, you know, Austin P who's further west than western Kentucky. They're in Clarksville, Tennessee, near Nashville. Um, would they tro- try to get Missouri State? I think that's too far out of their footprint, though. Um, somebody help me out in the comments. Are there any worthwhile schools in the state of Iowa for FCS that could possibly be brought up? I don't think so. Um, but... Would this realistically happen? No. Army joining Villanova, I that I don't see. I mean, Villanova, I'm wondering, did, Damascus, did you add them in and forget UMass was coming? Because UMass is the partner for Buffalo out east. Um, That's the partner for Buffalo. You need somebody on the western side, and Western Kentucky or Army would fit the bill. Uh, but I don't see Army doing it. In fact, I don't think Army, if... The ACC raids the American, not the other way around. Because if it's not done by, if it's, they don't get those deals done by May 1st, folks, you're not dissolving the conference. Which means they have to get this whole thing decided and settled, and North Carolina makes its move before the 1st of June. Or actually, before the 15th of May. So, I don't think North Carolina's going to do that, and I don't think this is going to get resolved. So, it's not on there. And I hate to break, based upon the court decision that went down, nobody appears to be leaving now without paying 350 to 400 million. And North Carolina is not doing that right now. They may sit and wait five, six years. Then again, ESPN may re- lower the, the TV deal and ask to renegotiate. Would that void the grant of rights at that point? That may be something that somebody may sue over. If, if the ESPN voids the extension. A new message has arrived. 
Love the timing. Does it violate the void the grant of rights? But too many things to think about here. But army, it's plausible, likely, no. Um, Army is in the American for now, and if the American falls apart like I think it's going to, they're going to go back to being an independent and probably drag a Navy with them, unless somehow, some way, the ACC is crazy enough to add them. Because I hate to break it to you, if you look at the top 30 in viewership over last season, Navy made the top 30. They were the only G5 that did. For almost 3 million viewers a game. They're rating strong. Army is a rating strong. Oregon State and Washington State are rating straws. Over a half a million each. A million and a half each, excuse me. Maybe top top five, top six of the ACC. So, yeah. Army, Villanova, I don't think it's going to happen. Why don't everybody why don't you let me know what's going on down in the comments. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. If you haven't done it already, please do me a favor. Smash the damn like button. No, I didn't hit the horn. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up, smash the like button. Helps with the algorithm. Helps the video, see more, more, video be seen by more people. Comment on the video. Let me think about the idea of Army and Villanova. Army not joining the American and joining the Mac. And Villanova being brought up from FBS, FCS, to come to the Mac. Um, I don't think they'd do it. Army, if it was the only other one, yeah, but I don't think so. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Share the video if you want to. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't done it already, check out some of the other videos I've done. And if you want, hey, subscribe to the channel. Um, so thanks, everybody, for watching. i got to find out what the hell this message they just sent me was. Um, if you want to subscribe, follow me on X, Twitter. Link will be in the description. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. I don't know where I'm going, so i got to find that out real fast. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great Friday, and please be good to each other.